Hi, I'm Doug from Greensman Incorporated. We're looking at girdling root damage on a maple tree. As you can see, part of the maple tree looks just fine. The part closest to us here is showing uh, dead branches and leaves that have changed beyond fall color. They're, the branches are actually dying. And as you get up here a little closer, you notice that there's a huge crack in the tree and it's trying to heal over. Maples are pretty aggressive, but this is a extreme case of girdling root. Take a look at that right there. You can see how the tree root grew down and then flared out and then made a basically a right hand turn all the way around the tree. So as the tree grew in circumference, so did the root and hence choking itself out and affecting the nutrient flow from the roots up to the trees and then the, of course the chlorophyll down to the roots. Something like this is an extreme case. We could make the attempt to remove that root, but it's so far into the tree and, and has progressed for probably, probably since the day it was planted that this tree's not gonna do too well. I don't know if it's worth saving. My opinion, it's not. Uh, just the amount of damage here in some of these branches, but you never know, it's worth a try. It's not really near a house at all, though it is near this uh, shed and I don't want to take a chance of it falling on that shed after we remove that tree root there. A smaller one would be something like this next over here. This is an oak tree. Uh, you notice you have a nice root flare that comes down. That's what the root flare is. As it reaches the mulch, that'd be just like what it is in Mother Nature. And as this one comes down, it goes straight down in like a post. That's a good indicator that there's probably a girdling root there. Although the one that shows on the surface here is not the one that probably caused the damage, but it's worth investigating, pulling back the dirt as best you can and removing anything that goes back across because this oak tree here is in pretty good shape. I think it's worth it to try and make an effort. Maple trees are prone to this. Oaks, I don't see it on it too much, but they do happen. So take a look at your trees. Easy way to look from a distance is the root flare. See how it comes down and flares out. There is no root flare. There's a problem here. I'm Doug from Greensman Incorporated. Thanks for watching.